it's mesmerizing watching them kick that bomb back and forth. I can't stop watching, but I must. Continue on with the walkthrough. Yee, hello everyone, and welcome back to ye all walkthrough. Let's go over to stage five known as the secret flower zone. Apparently, maybe it's like a place you're not supposed to know about, but now you know about it. Or four people seem to know about it that... And by the way, the music in the battle mode stages differs depending on the stage. Oh, I just got the little jelly bomb things. Those are a really interesting item. See that? Watch what happens when I use the kick on these bombs. I'll show you it on a straight line. Kick. It bounces. <laughs> these are really, really tricky little bombs. I believe they're called slime bombs. I could be wrong, though. I, I hope they're sanitary, but I, well, I suppose they are because, you know, they're su still super heated bombs. And maybe the stage is called the secret flower stage because, you know, they're trying to cover- Oh, no, 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 no! Because they are covering, you know, players, you know, it's trying to hide players with those Venetian, uh, lofts. I don't know what the heck you would call those things. <laughs> they're kind of weird that they keep opening and closing on their own like that. Unless there's some sort of mechanical mechanism, you know, thing that, that's going around inside them that are making them change or something like that. I, I think I, I'm overthinking this just a little bit too much. So I should probably just continue on here and hope I don't die and... Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna start doing stuff like this. Just to confuse the computers a little bit, maybe. Uh, what happened there? It, it was like it didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, and you can stop the bombs by pressing the X button when you have the kick. I forgot to mention that when I had the kick earlier. Alright, sudden death time, and what is... Huh? Oh, it was staying out just outside the range of my bomb blast. Okay, I'm gonna try and get it to be squished. I failed. Let's see if I can... Alright, Oh, that's just sad. <laughs> Come on, I can trap it, I can trap it, I can do this! I think it died. No, it didn't. So what happened? I didn't see. <laughs> How did it survive? Eh, no. You are not- Oh, shoot, I can't drop bombs because I have the skull now. It doesn't matter, I won. Because <laughs> it got squished by the blocks. Yay! This might be the most interesting stage yet, actually. <laughs> that last one that I played at the end of the last part, that was just... Pathetic. The computer didn't know what it wanted to do. I know they're programmed to stay away from squares that are, you know, in danger, but they can't think that they're trapped when there's actually a way to keep, to actually move out of the way. And how did the blue one die there? I didn't see. <laughs> I don't know, does it really matter at this point? The computers kill themselves left and right anyway, so it's like, eh. <laughs> Alrighty. I should unleash the black one there and take advantage of its stupidity early before it gets powered up with stuff, I suppose. Does it recognize when it's on a, uh, a power panel of sorts? Like one of those power... It probably does. Because if it's able to recognize that, you know, that fuse in the last part, it should be able to recognize those things. And somehow it, it decided not to save itself by going around the corner. <laughs> Guess I shouldn't question it again. Shouldn't overthink these things. Just say that it's, uh... Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to grab that. And... Wait. I can't drop bombs, so I'm gonna have to trade it off to the red bomber there. Even though I'm still tempted to call it the orange bomber and it just killed itself. <laughs> and I win! <laughs> yeah, these computers are not standing a chance against me. Alright, next one is known as... The chocolate warp stage. Mmm, chocolates. You can, yeah, you can go inside these things and you'll appear on the other side of the opposite color of the red ones. It's a really quick, aggressive way to enter your opponent's territory and trap them. So be sure to watch for your opponent, you know, opponent's shenanigans from doing such a thing. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> I just seen the black computer just like tuck himself in the corner there there and I was like he's not gonna move I'll just go trap him like that <laughs> I hate to take advantage of the computer AI like that but come on if I touch that can I like yeah I can do that 
That's a nice way to get power-ups on the other side of blocks. Get myself a power bomb nice there. I can get a slime bomb, apparently, as well. That's what the light blue power-ups are, in case you didn't realize that. it's They're different than the regular bomb. They look a little more jelly-like in comparison, I guess you could say. That's why they have the blue color. I don't know if I ever pointed that out before. I was just kind of, yeah, <laughs> kind of randomly talking as I usually do. Oh, the blue actually was smart that time. I can't believe it. It actually stayed until that top bomb blast, I mean the bomb blast above it exploded and then moved out of the way. I am proud of it! It knew what to do and did it properly, but it still died. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I want to try and trap... Wait, you Black Bomber, go up there and get... There we go. <laughs> Because Black Bomber is not very clever there, so I thought, yeah, let's just take advantage of that again and take him out in an early game. Why not? <laughs> mm, whoa, whoa. Nope, nope. Ain't gonna happen, blue guy. I see you going up there. Nope. Well, I hope an item doesn't appear there. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Whoa! Could have been trapped by orange there, but didn't happen. Oh! <laughs> I almost got the skull there accidentally because it flipped from the top, I mean the bottom of the screen to the top. You know, it's it screen wrapped. Oh, no, no, no. I knew I wasn't in any, in any danger because I was protected by that warp over there or just get warped over to the other side. So that's why I didn't mind being in that corner like that. I love these jelly bombs and they're like bouncing around all over the place there. And I haven't, haven't, oh, I haven't really been able to show you that all that much, have I? Um, if a jelly bomb rolls over an item, it will actually make it flip to another... Oh wait, I guess it's just the skull that does that. I thought that it makes all all items flip, but I guess not. It, it actually erases other items. Maybe it like runs them over like a car or something like that. Jelly bombs are much more dangerous than jelly donuts. <laughs> uh, looks like the screen's gonna be closing in shortly. I believe these warps stop functioning after they, like, one side, um, covers one, like, one gets covered up or something like that. Nope, 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 aww. At least I think. I I'm gonna have to try that. Let like, let's try and keep Red Bomber there alive for as long as possible. Now when that red one gets covered... Yeah, the warp doesn't work now. Okay, that's how it works. Ha! <laughs> Take that, baby! Is there enough time on the clock for it to close all the way into the center? I never noticed that before. I might have to... I guess it doesn't really matter. This is just uh, to show off the battle stages anyway. Uh, stage 7 is known as the B1 circuit, apparently. I don't... Oh, I remember those numbered panels. Um, they indicate which speed you run at. What you want is a number 5! You go as fast as possible. Okay, you don't need that. But, um, when you blast that tire, it gives you items, and you can get an unlimited amount of items from that. that so that preview image that you've seen of this area is really, really misleading as to how these tires look as soft blocks. I guess the idea is to like power yourself up to the maximum and then like trap opponents on the edges of these hard blocks by using like super powered items or something like that. I don't what's the I'm pretty Oh wait that that exclamation point returns you to normal speed or or does it stop you in your place? I don't remember. I'm gonna have to try that. It stops you in your place. Okay, that's that's a pretty dangerous corner there. <laughs> Black Bomber did a good job of dodging my bomb blast there, surprisingly. Oh, I want that. I really want that. <laughs> oh, and Bo Black Bomber could have trapped me there. That was a stupid move on my part. Yep. Oh, I'm not gonna let you get that number five. Nope. Okay, yeah, the number changes randomly. That was pathetic, Black Bomber. You play that terribly. <laughs> yeah, I guess the idea of the stage is just to trap your opponents. Um, using the long lines of hard blocks. Alright, to the center we go! First power up to five, good! <laughs> uh, maybe I should be like playing off of number four or something like that. Because number five is kind of hard to control, but at the same time... Uh, I guess five would be the most beneficial, because you're the, you would be then be the fastest character in the land. <laughs> Why did I lay a bomb on the other side of that tire when it was going to be blown up? I don't know. No, 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 no! 
Can I, like, trap them? Oh, I can't trap them. Yeah, I can trap them, baby! Okay, so it is quite an advantage to be able to be at maximum speed like that. Alright. I'm gonna try to... Oh! <laughs> I guess we had the same idea there. Oh no! Touch something that makes you slower! <laughs> I can't trap you if you're just as fast as I am. It's hyper time! <laughs> Maybe I don't have to overpower them by getting a load of power-ups? I don't know, and these tires don't give you powers all the time. What the heck is that? I love exclamation point supposed to be like a yield sign or, or, or something like that? I don't... Hmm. <laughs> I'm just thinking, in, you know, like in terms of vehicles. No, not that! Why did that appear of all things? And yet the blue one grabs it. Wow, nice going, blue. <laughs> you can't drop bombs, can you? Well, you can drop bombs. Oh, it's it's low firepower. That's what the skull gave him. All right, let's get him over to the edges to try and get him squished. Oh, dang it. I was trying to trap him in that area, but I failed. Go around the corner. Mm. No, no, no. Oh, dang it. Now I have weak firepower. Eh. <laughs> yeah, you can pass on, pass on the skull to someone else if you touch them, just like I've shown you in the last game. And yeah, that was a impossible to stop move there, even if you had the kick because it was against the wall. And I win. <laughs> Not a very interesting stage there, I have to say. But alas, a stage nonetheless. Alright, number eight is known as Conveyor Belt nu Roman Numeral 2. <laughs> and needless to say, it moves your bombs as well as you around the conveyor belts. Yeah, that's the gimmick. It's just like the first one, I mean the first conveyor belt stage in the first Bomberman game, only they go around in a complete circle. That's when I made a mistake when I described that, that uh, the bombs could go around in circles before. Um, but that actually wasn't the case in the original stage, but it actually is in this one. Now, here's something interesting. If you kick a bomb, it actually will not be affected by the conveyor belt for whatever reason. I don't know why that is, but it would be pretty interesting if it was actually, if you'd be able to, like, make it go around in hyper tone. <laughs> Um, the conveyor belt also moves a lot faster than the original conveyor belt did. I'd say that the stage is quite an improvement all around, and those controls in the center, uh, they also are a different aspect to the conveyor belt thing here. S is for speed, pressing it once will make it go faster, pressing it again, whoa! will we'll go make, make you go too fast to even resist the conveyor belt. And the little D-pad over there res um, changes the speed, I mean not the speed, the direction of the conveyor belt in which it's going. And that's pretty much it for the stage here. Oh, I want the glove! Oh, I can't get the glove, can I? Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> that conveyor belt is gonna be the bane of my existence, isn't it? Eh, nope. Oh, jeez! Being aggressive. I can't, no! Can't, no. I'm just saying can't and no all the time. And it's not doing, it's not having any effect until that happened. <laughs> Woo! And one more for my victory. I'm gonna speed it up to the maximum just because it's fun. <laughs> oh, he slowed it down. Oh, wait, no, he sped it back up, didn't he? Aha! <laughs> Whoa, jeez! <laughs> Um, playing around with those controls in the center would probably throw off the computers a lot Because they just don't seem to be equipped to react to such things. That's just my my bets right there I bet you if if I, I bet you I could lead them into Killing themselves with their own bomb or something like that. I bet you I bet you ah! <laughs> Almost a draw there almost a draw but Not quite <laughs> Well, that's all I'm gonna be doing in this part and I'll see you in the next part when we do the final four stages of battle mode and finish this walkthrough. Victory! Yeah, I'm bragging. I said I wouldn't brag by showing the stage again, but I'm showing it again. <laughs>